Well, what a lovely surprise. After quite a depressing week, in all honesty, uh, we got this glimmer of hope. So very soon after I posted my last video saying that there was a lot of demand for it. Now I'm not saying that it was me who manifested the Scott Pilgrim physical version, but no, but seriously, this is amazing news. If you haven't already seen, our wish actually came true. And Scott Pilgrim vs. The World, the game, Complete Edition is coming in the form of a physical release for both the Switch and PS4. Now this goes without saying that this is really exciting, especially because the original game was a digital only thing, meaning it was only ever released on Xbox Live Arcade and PlayStation Network. So the physical edition also comes with a, a fake ticket to a Clash of Demon Head concert. So if you've played the game or read the comics or seen the movie, then you know how cool that is. So not only is this really exciting because it's a physical release, like a retail release looking game, for those who enjoy collecting the cases and putting them on their bookshelves, limited run games didn't stop there. And my prediction of Ubisoft offering multiple editions wasn't too far-fetched, because we also have a classic edition. The classic edition also includes a map, which I assume is the form of like a, a large poster, a sticker sheet of all the main sprites from the game, and the piece de resistance, the soundtrack. I myself am more a collector of vinyl than CDs, but for someone who loves collecting CDs or hasn't yet heard this amazing soundtrack by itself, then this is a seriously great edition to consider. And the classic edition costs $55. But that's not it, they they kept going. And they have the KO edition. The KO edition will run you a solid $140 for a 10 year old game, but includes everything we've mentioned, as well as a cassette version of the soundtrack, a guidebook, some guitar picks, drumsticks, seven Evil X trading card set, a pin, and what they're referring to as the roadie collector's case, which includes spotlights on this sort of what looks to be a papercraft sex bob on show. Now this is interesting, I was not expecting them to go this far with supporting the fans of this game and creating something really worthy of calling a collector's edition. They're also doing a bunch of pins as extra merch, which is really cool. I'm not really a pin guy, but I know a ton of people who are into collecting pins and putting them in all sorts of places, so this is a fever dream for a lot of fans. You're sort of getting my first reaction here. I know I'm not breaking the news by any means, but god dang, there is so much stuff to look forward to here. So all of these editions go on sale for pre-order on January 15th, so a day after the digital release comes out, meaning they hit their holiday 2020 target technically, and you can get them at limitedrungames.com. Limited Run Games ended the thread with a simple tweet thanking Brian Lee O'Malley, Anna Monaguchi and everyone at Ubisoft and Universal for putting the hearts and souls into this limited run. This one is a real love letter from all of us to Scott Pilgrim and from all of us to you. Hashtag forever physical. I think more than anything we'd like to thank Limited Run Games for working with everyone involved and converting a rather sad story of a game that was lost to time and licensing to not only being remastered, re-released, but celebrated again. One other thing to note for those Xbox fans is that they have said that they're going to do an Xbox specific physical release at some point in the future. This is probably because, let's be honest, the PS4 and the Switch were likely to be the most in demand in terms of who was buying a physical release. I myself will be going for the Switch version most likely, but I'm really curious to know, are you guys going to get the physical edition of the game? If so, which edition are you going for? And for what platform? An exciting bit of news to end the week, just as I was going to bed last night, I was texted by my friend Ree, who brought this to my attention, but as I said, I was just going to bed so I couldn't exactly make a video, but hopefully everyone's up to speed now, and I'm super looking forward to playing this game with you guys. Me and Will, the two members of Plungeroo, are going to try and play this game and get content up for it as soon as possible. I'd love for us both to play the game on co-op, as we're coming from two different perspectives entirely. I've played through the original, he has never played it, so look forward to that in an upcoming series. We're also considering streaming the game live, either here or on Twitch, so if that's something you guys are interested in, then let us know. And if so, which platform would you want to see it on? Right on this channel, or on a separate Twitch? Thanks so much for watching guys, if you're new here welcome and please consider subscribing for more gaming content, movie content, just general natters about content that we like. We've got lots in store for 2021 and we really want to grow this channel. Also hit that bell because it does things. Hopefully we can get to some kind of regular schedule at some point soon. Take care guys, see you later.